Here in North Park, you'll find one building split down the middle by two operations, the J.A. Cooley Museum on one side and Frank the Train Man on the other. When you own the nation's oldest train shop named Frank the Train Man, people walk in the door and they must say, where's Frank? Yeah. All the time? All the time. 80 years ago, Frank Cox opened the shop and happily chugged down the tracks of life until 1982, when he sold the business to his good friends, Jim and Carmen Cooley. This is the original Frank. This is the second Frank. And this is myself. It's the three Franks. <laughs> the three Franks. Yes. <laughs> Jim passed away in 2019, and his wife Carmen says people are still getting used to her being the new Frank. Man, but surprised when it see a woman answer the questions. Yet she hopes her grandson Ben will someday be the future conductor of the family business. What are your hopes and dreams for the future for this place? For it to stick around for another 30, 50 years from generation to generation. In 1997, Ben's grandpa opened this museum to showcase classic cars. A 1914 Model T. <laughs> a 1908 <laughs> Maxwell's. This is the first car ever gas produced. Jim Cooley's daughter, Carmen, says her dad was a collector, all right. We have piggy banks, lots of clocks, typewriters, license plate collection, our Coca-Cola collection. We have about 5,000 cameras. People just go crazy over this stuff. During our interview, the museum was empty, something Carmen's father was always fine with. He can care less if he had one person come in or if he had a hundred, because it's not about the volume, it's not about, it's about preservation. It's about, it's about the education and the preservation. Of everything, from spy cameras to phones. Even Carmen's office is an antique. I'm calling from my iPhone, and this is how she picks up. J. E. Cooling Museum, this is Carmen. How can I help you? Do you have any old cars? Oh, I have a few, about 27 of them to be exact. Do you have any Edisons? We have a few of those as well, approximately about 70 of those. They even have a Wurlitzer, the world's oldest jukebox. So anyone can walk in the door and hitch their caboose to one of San Diego's oldest family trees and trains. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, hey! CBS 8.